friends, sometimes side dishes can be just as important as your main course. And today I want to make one of the Hall of Fame side dishes in my opinion, and that is Greek style lemon roasted potatoes. Why this dish works out so great is that it's just so versatile and goes with so many different kinds of foods. You can pair it with chicken, pork, fish, seared tofu, stewed beans. It's just a great all around dish. Why is this combination of potatoes and lemons so versatile? That's because they complement what you're serving without overpowering the dish. Okay, now a word about potatoes. For this dish, I'm using my personal favorite, the Yukon Gold Potato. Now, if you don't have that, what I would recommend is another starchy type potato. You can use an Idaho Russet, or you can use like a Maris Piper, or an equivalent of one of these three potatoes. What you're trying to avoid is a waxy potato, like say a red potato. While you're peeling your potatoes, have a mixing bowl of water ready so that they don't discolor while you're waiting for the rest of the potatoes or while you're getting your other ingredients ready. One of the key ingredients that really makes this dish is oregano. Now, you can use fresh oregano, but this is a situation where I actually prefer the dried version. Here's why. The fresh oregano has a sharpness that the dried does not. It has an amazing aroma and taste to it. Oh yeah. So if you see a recipe on the internet that says that oregano is optional, you need to close that tab. Before we juice our lemons, this is not something that you have to do, but it is a little nice to have when serving the dish. We're going to microplane a little bit of lemon zest and that is going to add a nice little touch to the finished dish. It's going to give that little burst of delicious lemony flavor. You're not going to need a lot. Just kind of zest the lemons that you'll be using for the dish. You should be fine. We'll take our zested lemons and we're gonna start juicing them now. Okay, let's mix all our flavor agents together. Okay, so what we want to do is cut the potatoes into nice little one inch wide wedges. Now, this is not a specific measurement, you get the idea. If you're working with larger potatoes, you're gonna adjust your sizing accordingly in terms of how you cut the potato. Now in the oven we go. A couple of times during roasting, you'll want to stir the potatoes for even cooking. Oh, these smell so good. Tonight, I'm pairing this dish with some salmon fillets seasoned with my black and gold blend, which features the tangy flavors of the sumac fruit. Hey, if you have a second, visit my spice shop at sanjaycookery.com and get top quality spices sent to your door. Use my code YouTube15 to get 15% off your order. Oh yeah. Listen to that sizzle. Now I'm going to add my lemon zest. And this is purely optional, but it really helps take this humble dish to a whole new level. And you're not really buying any additional ingredients. You're simply using up the lemons that you would use to generate the juice. Now, some people prefer their potatoes to be a little crispier. If you prefer it that way, what I recommend is increasing the temperature towards the end of cooking and just leaving it in a little bit longer. My recipe gave you a guideline for salting, but what I recommend is you taste it before you serve it add salt if necessary. Salting is one of the most important things you can do to bring out the full potential and the taste of food. Mm -hmm. 